I would like to talk about a recent example. So recent project of ours, uh, this is a subcomponent manufacturing company running a 25 year old bespoke manufacturing system. Absolutely horrendous to use, but did the job. Really poor user interface. Very few uh, functions actually uh, are capable, uh, capable within the system, but it tracked the product through the factory and was able to um, was able to do the basic stuff they needed it to do. And there was no organizational desire to replace it. So in that context, um, there's data being stored somewhere. Um, but the process particularly that, uh, that we talked to here about uh, digitally transforming and automating was just one little corner of the factory where one team leader spent eight hours a week, typically, on collecting production data, which he then shared out by email. Went up, went down, went sideways to his colleagues, to his bosses, um, to the shop floor. He drew the data off the system. He retyped it into a spreadsheet, sent it out by email. Something we can all relate to, yeah? Um, fairly, fairly straightforward. But my question here is, what value is that team leader adding when he's doing that? So the project we implemented here was to use the current data in simple new ways. And you'll hear that message a lot from me today, simple new ways. So the solution was using three pieces of technology, Excel, Power Pivot, and Power Automate, all Microsoft products. Um, the Excel data and Power Pivot was simply a routine to access and query the 25 year old uh, manufacturing system simply giving it access to a data source. By using Power Pivot, which is an onboard tool within Excel, you're able to access different data sources. So rather than him going up and running his query manually and retyping it out, the spreadsheet itself does the query. And then it's distributed using a Power Automate routine. Now forgive the logos here, Microsoft changed the logos every 20 minutes and I'm aware they have changed them in the last uh, literally few hours. Um, so the Power Automate logo, it's all part of the Office 365 suite. Um, so in this new world, the data was accessed automatically, and then it was distributed again automatically by email with no human intervention necessary. So the time could be spent analyzing the results and what the message and the, the lessons the data had to, uh, to, to give rather than just preparing it. So let's come back to that three, three element model again, the efficiency, effectiveness, and the customer experience. Where did that fit in this world? Okay, so efficiency, we can see bang right there, eight hours a week saved, just in one little corner of the factory. This was not a major project. Effectiveness, avoidable errors were totally eliminated. Because the Excel was reading the data source directly, there was no retyping necessary. So we completely eliminated the opportunity for human error to be added then the customer experience isn't immediately obvious in this world, but by using the good old flow charting tools to make sure we understood who the customers of this process were, it was illuminated that the, this report that was emailed out found its way via, um, via purchasing to the, customer service, to the customer service team. And they were using the dates in there to make promises to customers as to the, um, as to uh, for delivery dates. So making promised order delivery dates. Completely unexpected. This guy that ran this, uh, this little uh, process every week, every day of every week, didn't even know it was used in that way. But the data it provided effectively said what they were doing down in the subsidiary would lead to the end product being available on a certain date. Customer experience, the customer service team were using it. So by implementing this technology, customer order promise date Accuracy improved by 52%, which is a combination of A, it was done faster, B, the errors were being avoided, and it was automatically distributed into the hands of the customer service team. So they had the, thing, the data at their fingertips, and didn't need to request it from procurement. Simple Microsoft tools that enabled this to be completely different and had an impact on all three of these areas, efficiency, effectiveness, and the customer experience. 